know. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a deer right straight ahead of me as I'm walking. Looks like a fawn. Let's see what he does. I don't know where Trooper's at, but oh, there they go. It's a bluebird. Real pretty bluebird. Walking down the trail to get to the base of the hill where I'm gonna go up to get back home. I doubt it, but we'll see if this deer's still up here when we get here. When I get up there, it'd be really cool if the the deer is stopped close. Wow, look at the raspberries. They're all throughout back there. This is the spot to be come fall. The place is full of them. I'm gonna get some briar proof pants and a couple buckets. like our friend the deer headed on out oh wow check this out path exiting the woods and look at those two uh, scrapes right there or rubs I should say not scrapes that's a nice deer right there I really love walking in the woods, especially in spring or summer, because of all the sights and smells. You can see all kinds of beautiful birds and hear them singing and see the deer when they're in their summer coat, you know, a nice orangey brown instead of a dull gray. You know, winter, winter hiking's okay, but when you go hiking in the winter, everything's white and gray. And kind of a little depressing. You know, everything's dead. Even the deer turn gray in the winter. And the squirrels, they, for the most part, hibernate. But in the summertime, everything comes alive and starts moving and grows. And it's really nice to get out in the woods and see everything living and smell it, hear it, everything. But I haven't been able to get out too much this year. It's been raining like crazy on and off. And today was a, a nice day and Trooper hadn't been able to get out and run for a while, so figured take him out and let him go on a run and get some exercise and 
I definitely needed to exercise. So, oh wow, here's a big old tree that got knocked down in one of the recent rainstorms. I don't know if you can see the yellow right there. That's the base of the tree. It's a huge tree. Not got they got knocked down. But oh the other <laughs> another downside the one downside I don't like about hiking in the summer is mosquitoes and ticks. And it seems like this year we uh we got an overabundance of ticks. And the mosquitoes weren't bad in the spring, nor really the early summer. But now, mosquitoes are horrible. They're like crazy going on. And uh, the, if you guys watched uh, the YouTube video I put up of Josh the Man 07 and I out camping on an island, because uh, he got a second job now and he's working around 16 hours a day so he doesn't really get much time you know anymore he's working seven seven days a week so he doesn't have any more time to really do camping so uh, we went out on a camping trip and that night the we just got eaten up by mosquitoes and found I think at least at least four ticks yeah at least four ticks maybe five to six but we found a lot of ticks on us and uh, the other day I was mowing the lawn in my yard and ended up with a tick on me so I really don't like creatures that suck my blood so but the beauty in sights, smells, sounds, things that you get to see still overdo, you know, overwhelm the negativity of possibly getting a tick or a mosquito bite. So it's still worth it to come out and get some exercise out in the woods. You can see right over there is uh, they call it a ravine where the water comes through when it rains. I'm sure that's been dug a little deeper this year than what it usually is from all the rain coming through. It's really nice in here too with all the shade. You know, the sun's well, you know, shining bright, and yet it's nice and cool in the woods. So I'll uh, see you guys at the top of the hill. Bravo Leader Twenty Seven out.